Demand, Supply and Market Equilibrium Demand curves slope down from left to right. Price and quantity demanded are usually inversely related. At lower prices, consumers will consume more. Why is this? There are several answers. Marginal utility or benefit falls as more is consumed. And a lower price will encourage demand. Marginal is an important concept in economics and means the additional amount of something resulting from an economic action. In this case, marginal utility is the additional benefit gained from consuming one more unit of a good or service. Demand can also be explained in two other ways. If budgets are fixed, a lower price means more can be consumed, providing more real income. If prices of substitutes are constant, a lower price of good X encourages substitution. The two effects are called the income effect and substitution effect. A demand curve can shift to the right and increase, or to the left, a decrease. With an increase, more goods are demanded at all prices. Possible factors causing this include higher incomes, assuming a normal good, an increase in the price of a substitute, a fall in price of a complement, and changes in tastes and preferences. A shift to the left is a decrease. Fewer goods are demanded at all prices. Possible factors causing this include lower incomes, assuming a normal good, a fall in price of a substitute, an increase in the price of a complement, and changes in tastes and preferences. Supply. Supply curves typically slope up from left to right. Price and the quantity supplied are positively related. At higher prices, producers will supply more. Why do they do this? There are several answers. Higher prices encourage output because there is an expectation of higher revenue, which is price times quantity and higher profit. Also, the marginal returns to higher output diminish and the marginal cost of production increases, hence a higher price is required to encourage output. A shift to the left is a decrease in supply. Assuming the price is constant, a shift in supply to the left could be caused by less available raw materials, a reduction in the supply of labour, taxes on goods or services, or bad weather or other disruptive natural events. A shift to the right is an increase in supply. Assuming price is constant, a shift in supply to the right could be caused by more available raw materials, an increase in the supply of labour, subsidies on goods or services, a reduction in taxes, or unusually good weather or other beneficial supply factors. Market Equilibrium Economic theory states that there will be a single price at which demand equals supply, called equilibrium price. At equilibrium, the market clears. There are no shortages or surpluses. Marginal utility equals marginal cost. Economic welfare is maximised. Economic welfare, as measured by consumer and producer surplus, is maximised at the market equilibrium price and quantity. At equilibrium, consumer surplus is maximised at area XAP and producer surplus is maximised at PA0. A non-equilibrium price, at P1, causes demand to contract and consumer surplus to shrink while producer surplus increases. However, there is a net welfare loss of area B, A, C. Here, surplus shrinks. At a lower price, at P2, supply contracts, so the output is at Q1. Producer surplus shrinks, but consumer surplus increases. However, the net effect is for welfare to fall to area B, A, C. An increase in demand raises welfare. An increase in demand raises both consumer and producer surplus. An increase in demand will raise the market price and increase output. Both consumer and producer surplus increase. Increases in supply increase welfare. An increase in supply will reduce the market price and increase output.
both consumer and producer surplus increase. Decreases in supply reduce welfare. Both producer and consumer surplus falls when supply decreases. A decrease in supply will increase the market price and reduce output. Both consumer and producer surplus fall 